A new tonight, an unusual reunion after a story we first told you back in February. A man lost his iPhone in New York City in January of 2014. A year later, it ended up in China in the hands of a stranger. But recently, the two men met face to face. CBS 2's Seth Doan reports. Oh my God! This moment at a Chinese airport was months and millions of page views in the making. My to China. It's yeah. been quite a journey for Matt Stopera, whom we met in Beijing. You made it to China. Yeah, it's crazy. Here's the backstory. Stopera lost his iPhone in New York City. Months later, Lee, all the way in southeastern China, received the phone as a gift and began taking pictures on it in front of what looked like orange trees. Who is this man and why are his pictures showing up in my phone? Those pictures automatically uploaded to Stopera's new phone. And as an editor for the online outlet BuzzFeed, he wrote about it. From there, uh, it was translated uh, and put on Chinese Twitter. Users on Weibo, China's Twitter, started looking for an answer. I start getting all these tweets from people in China saying, hey, we're going to help you find Orange Man. The search led to Li, a 30-year-old restaurant owner. I was shocked, Lee told us. My nephew called and told me my photos are all over the Internet. Their lost phone found friend saga generated more than 75 million clicks and prompted Lee's invitation to visit. To meet this man right here, my brother, Brother Orange, has been just a good it's been amazing. Stopera's China trip has been diligently chronicled with plenty of selfies. It all has the feel of anything for a page view. Is the story over? The story's not over because Brother Orange has to visit me now. So that's, oh, no, that's that has nice. to happen. So. so the story goes on and on. In the selfie-rich world of social media, who is to stop it? Seth Doan, CBS News, Beijing. Experts say it's not uncommon for stolen or lost iPhones to make their way from the United States to countries overseas where the demand is high.